Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to talk about how to add a multi-layer drop-down box to your Squarespace website. So I've previously did a video on how to add a drop-down box, um, but I've had some people ask about how to do a drop-down box like nested in another one, so that's called a multi-layer drop-down box, and I'm going to show you how to alter the code to make it work that way. So the first thing you want to do is go to the page you want your FAQ section on. So on my home page, I've created a section that is FAQ. So I'm going to scroll down to that page and I'm going to click edit. Now, maybe I want to have these sort of in two columns um, to create your layouts. The easiest way to do that is actually create them using spacer blocks. They tend to move around just a little bit easier. So I'm going to click here, highlight and click spacer. I'm going to add two of them because I want two columns. I'm going to click on one and drag it so that the black line is beside the other spacer block. Let go. So now I have two columns. Delete this text block here. And I'm going to use a markdown block. So I'm going to click here and find the markdown basic block right here. And you're going to copy and paste the following code. Okay. I've set this up to have two. So you have your first question. So this is the question. And then you have an answer. And then two of the answers actually have sort of a second section to them. So I have a second question and answer, third question and answer. Um, and these will be, you know, another drop down box within the drop down box. Okay. So um, you can edit those sections to be, um, you know, what they what you actually want them to say, in there. Then click apply. Okay. I've also added little arrows in here so that people know they can click on them to create a drop down. If you want to create another one beside it, same thing. Click there, add a markdown block, and paste in the code. Then you can edit the black text to. Uh, match what questions or answers and whatnot you want in there. Click apply. Once you're happy with how uh, what the text says, we're going to click save. And then we need to add some CSS to style this. So this is actually a heading two, and these are paragraphs. I did that just for the sake of um, the coding. So if you don't want this to be a heading two, that's okay. You could style that using some custom CSS. So we're going to go back to our design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the following code. Okay, so what this has done is created the H2, the big questions, and added sort of a pink box with an outline around that. So I've changed the font size to 22. The background color, that sort of pink color, is this here. You can change that to whatever color you like. I've changed the color of the text to white and added in a little margin. So if you have any questions underneath, um, then they're not going to uh, overlap each other. Okay. This outline here, the box outline is this section. So I have an, an outline that's also pink um, that's offset. So if you don't want that outline, you can just erase this part of the code, this box code. Okay. If you're happy with how that looks, we're going to click save. And now we need to add in some JavaScript so it actually has the drop down function. So we're going to go back to the home section, go to settings, advanced, code injection, and then you're going to copy and paste the following code. Click save. You should see now you have two drop down boxes. When I click here, it gives me my answers. I can then have a second drop down that comes underneath. If you want another question underneath this one, you're just going to simply copy and paste this code underneath of it. Now you have two questions on top of each other. 
but have some multi-layer drop-down boxes to them. And that is how you add a multi-layer drop-down box to your Squarespace website.